My name is Emmy van Deuzen. I was born in the Netherlands. I lived and studied in France and worked in France for eight years. Then I came to the United Kingdom in 1977 on the strength of the United Kingdom having become part of the European Union. This made it possible for me to move to the UK and make my contribution here and put my roots down here for nearly 40 years because it was from then on considered that we were all European citizens and that we had rights and privileges and duties and responsibilities in any of the European Union countries and that therefore this kind of free movement was possible. I have experienced some discrimination for being Dutch rather than English living in the United Kingdom but overall over the years this country has opened its heart to people like myself, realizing that we are a good deal. We are people who had our education and our training paid for by other members of the European Union and who then put our capacities at the disposal of this country. So we cost this country very little and we were capable of giving this country very much in return. I have been here as a Dutch citizen for 39 years and I have decided this year to apply for UK citizenship. Why? Because I no longer feel safe to be Dutch living in this country, working in this country, paying my taxes in this country, being completely, totally, utterly committed to this country in every way, but still not being allowed to vote in most of the elections. I'm particularly disturbed that I will not be able to cast my vote about whether this country is going to leave the EU or do the sensible thing and continue to work with the EU within it. And this has made me aware that I cannot remain a purely European citizen because I will find myself possibly in a position where people will suddenly consider me an outsider once again. This is what will happen if we opt out of the EU, instead of being part of the European Union, working together towards a stronger, bigger future, we will certainly be isolated. We will suddenly become seen as a country that stands alone and that is not prepared to do the struggling and the thinking and the argumentation with our partners in the European Union in order to create a better way of working together. Of course, there is lots wrong with the European Union. There always has been and there always will be, but there's a lot wrong with national politics too. That's the nature of politics. It's difficult, it's hard to bring differences together and to be in debates and dialogue with each other and create something stronger. But what we forget is that this is how the world has become a safe place, by political conversations, by holding things together, by pushing through differences and difficulties together in dialogue, we create a place in which we can thrive. Well, when Europe was created at the end of the Second World War, 
it wasn't for nothing. It was because we had learned from experience, from history. And as someone who was born in the Netherlands, I know that better than people who were born in the UK because the Netherlands was overrun by another country and it was very nearly destroyed. And this could so easily happen again. People said at the end of the Second World War, never again. We must work together. We must stand together. We must develop in relation to each other, not just in competition with each other, because sooner or later that leads to problems. How can we forget this? How can we believe that it is even possible in the world as it is today to stand alone as a country in isolation rather than to improve the relationships we have created and on which we have thrived over the past 40 years. Europe is not an ideal place. There are many things that need improving. So we need to be there at the heart of it and improve them and make it better. Our voice needs to be heard, not silenced. If we are not part of that conversation any longer, we won't have any right to speak if Europe goes wrong. If we're outside of Europe, we will have no way of steering the future of this whole big continent. And that future will be determined by how well we work together with our partners, with our peers, with the countries around us. How can we even imagine that we can play a role in the world unless we're first of all capable of working with our brothers and sisters in the unity we have created over the past 40 years. How can we just sit in judgment on that and say, okay, we'll walk away from it. That is how you break something up and you will lead to a situation of fragmentation where everybody will suffer. Think very carefully what Europe is offering you and how European politics need to be improved through participation and becoming more committed to it, much more strong in the way in which we change the way in which European politics is practiced. The United Kingdom has a huge role to play in that political game, in that political scene. Its voice is strongest when it's speaking to its partners. Its voice will be silent and its country will become demeaned and isolated if we leave the EU now. Please think about what you're doing and stay within the EU.